Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Money Matters because as you know money does matter. What we're going to focus on this week is rent to buy. How do you get people on the housing ladder that can't otherwise do it? How do you make money and how do you contribute to solving the UK's housing crisis all at the same time? Win, win, win. So, and what, what kind of property is it, Brett? Chris? It's a semi-detached, three bedroom. Very nice. Uh, two years, two year period. Um, so, um, they only Because if for any reason the guy walked away from this rent to buy contract, that is indie. So specifically, we're gonna hear from tenants later on, what we're going to do first, in this lovely little street here, we're going to meet one of my very good friends, Touchstone family member, student, and now mentor, Mr. Indy Gill. Uh, we're here to talk today specifically about rent to buy. Yep. And this is one of your rent to buy properties. Yep, it is. And I have to say, this is an absolutely gorgeous area. You were telling me just before we started that when you bought this property, yeah. the plan was for you to live in it. That's right, yeah. With like your family, your kids yeah, and everything, because yeah, yeah. the school's nearby and yep, all that that's stuff. that's it, yeah. Uh, so what did you miss this thing when you said it's Paul's fault but we're not living here? Well, I think um, initially it was a bit of a surprise. Um, uh, she <laughs> she kind of thought, oh, getting well, ready to move in and then you know. Yeah, not. yeah. We, we, uh, no, we did actually come in for oh, that, well, yeah, three months. Oh, uh, a whole lot of three months and uh, we were oh, here for three God. months. Oh my God, so I've not only made you unemployed, I've made you homeless <laughs> as yeah. well. But, um, but um, she obviously understood that um, upwards and onwards and yeah. that we can we can do better, that we can do bigger. So yeah. and that, that's, that's what the plan that's is. That's what you did. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. So, do you mind sharing with all the viewers like the numbers for this one? Yeah, so um, uh, just just top end uh, figures of yeah. um, uh, 315 is what we paid for it, and we only put 10%, so 30, 30 grand, 31 grand we put in. Very casual. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we'll come back to that in a minute as well. And um, uh, we've agreed a rent to buy on it, um, and this is not including rent, we'll make a profit of uh, about 60,000. Um, so, you bought it for 315, you've pre agreed to sell it for 375. 375, that's it. As some people say to me, Indy, that, you know, what if you're doing yourself out of money? What if, you know, in how, how many years time, uh, how many years is the rent to buy on this one? Uh, two years, two year period. Um, uh, so, um, they'll buy that's, that's, that's a decent uplift. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. And, and I think the thing is, it's, it's a win-win because uh, because of this area, how lovely mm. it is, that it might have even increased more than 375, yeah. but um, I don't mind that because we're getting a good profit from it and the tenants getting a good deal. So it's a win-win. It was one of the American billionaires, I've forgotten which one. <laughs> quite a few aren't there uh, and he said this and I think really good advice he said no one ever went bust taking a profit, profit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it's just you can't can you yeah. so all right so you, you're picking up 60k in terms of capital up there yeah. um, so that's like 200% return is it on the 30 grand <laughs> well he's yeah. put 30 grand down yeah. yes yeah. well of course it is yes yeah, it's yeah. tripling your money yeah yeah um, and then on top of that um, Roughly, what's the cash flow per month if you take the the rent minus the mortgage? Um, it's about five hundred pound. Uh, yeah, nice. so it's, it's not it's not bad at all. Uh, five hundred quid uh, a month for a yeah. couple of years. Yeah. So that's twelve thousand yeah. pounds plus sixty grand. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, a lot of people think that you know oh, I can't do property. It's too complicated. Yeah. Uh, having got yourself educated with regard to rent to buy and the standard templates and contracts and everything yeah. else, yeah, yeah. is it harder or easier than a buy to let? Do you think? Um, it's not much harder than a, a buy to let to do the deal. Um, yeah, exactly, and uh, and from there it's easy because um, because why? you've got no voids, mm -hmm. you've got no maintenance issues. Uh, these tenants actually cover the insurance, uh, the gas safety, they wow. pay for they pay for uh, everything. basically everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so it's for any of you out there that might know about commercial property and stuff like that. It isn't actually an FRI lease, but it's no. pretty close to it. Yep. So an FRI is a full repair and insurance lease where the tenant is responsible for everything. So, uh, but here, you know, in a normal buy to let, I don't know, the boiler goes or something. Yeah, yeah. The landlord's got to pay for it. That's they? it, exactly. Yeah, and and uh, these guys have done improvements to it, and they're looking at doing a loft conversion to make <laughs> this into a six bedroom. Whoa! Um, so that they're doing that within the um, a period. So. Should they turn around and at the end of it say, no, we're not going to buy it, we'll have a property that's uh, worth maybe four or five. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So um, you're pretty prominent in our Facebook community. I always see you popping yeah, up here, there yeah, and everywhere. Yeah. What's your, I mean, a couple of questions if it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many rent to buys have you done now? Uh, this one, we've done uh, altogether four. Four? Yeah. Over what kind of time period? 
um, a year. Year. Yeah. And over the next 12 months, how many rent to buys are you looking to do? We'll probably do another four, and that's not because we couldn't do more. Mm. But we are um, obviously we have the estate agency now that you're aware. Um, we have an estate agency. Check email. <laughs> and we are going into commercial. Just drop that, didn't we? <laughs> And we're going into commercial. We're, we're actually going to be listing one in this very area. 330, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, part of the estate agency. Happy days, yeah. happy days. I mean, in many ways, Indy, what I see you doing is sort of replicating what Touchstone is. You, you're sort of adding different property businesses. To well, that, that was one of the main things from Six Figure Summit, wasn't it? Multiple streams of income. Multiple streams. That's love it, it. Yeah, you love, just, it love it, love you it, can, love it. You can't... Um, you can't rely on one, but you can't get wealthy on one either. Uh, I I, it's dangerous. Yeah. You, you could, but I think it's. I, I'd far rather have all, all sorts of different streams yeah. of income. Yeah, and uh, when the camera's off, I'll tell you about the latest business that we just bought. Oh, fantastic. So that yeah. was uh, news coming soon, yeah. so, but it's property related. Short horror surprise. Cool. So uh, just uh, tell me about some of the other properties that you've bought in the um, on a rent to buy basis. The other one is. 10 Chapel Street, bought for 205, mm -hmm. uh, agreed sale price of 380. Um, over how many years? Uh, that's over six years. So they're getting 205, 205, 205 to 380. 380. Yeah. Bloody hell, that's yeah. not far off double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five years, wow. Yeah. And what, what are the tenants like there? Or, or yeah, fantastic, they're, they're working tenants and it's uh, that's a lovely property. Um, we did uh, event, uh, uh, initially say we were going to go there but we've already done a video at Chapel Street so yeah. um, uh, we thought we'd come here yeah. Uh, but um, that, yeah lovely property and, uh, and, th and they're loving it it's a dream home that is yeah so I think the biggest thing and the problem that a lot of people face is saving the deposit mm. um, uh, but when they're committed to save up and mm. they've got, they can see the benefit of it they, I think they're just finding it easier just to pass the money over when it stays in their account they're spending it yeah. um, uh, and so they're saving their deposit and they've not been able to do that previously yeah, well, fine. So let's just explain that to anyone that doesn't know. So uh, I don't know about the way you do it, the way we do it is that the tenant will just pay a, a standard market yep. rent. Yep. Then over and above that we call it a top up. Yep. So they just put a little bit of extra money to one side every month, um, typically for five to seven years. And then over that five to seven years, we, we put you have to put this into a client account. You can't go running up well. That's I'm sure it. you put yeah, it in a client yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all got to be done professionally, you've got to have the right legal documentation, everything else. Um, so thinking about that one, um, what do you call it, Chapel Street? 10 Chapel Street. 10 yeah. Chapel Street. Um, what's the rent and what's the top up? Um, so £1,000 is what we've took as rent uh -huh. um, and £500 is their top up and they give us £10,000 in advance. £10,000 in yep. advance? Yeah. Wow. But if someone's got £10,000, they can afford £1,500 a month, why can't they get a mortgage now? Um, th th for them, uh, they couldn't get the mortgage because uh, the missus was was off work with a young child. Oh, okay. um, so um, she, she they, could, they could have got a mortgage, but a smaller house, it wouldn't have been that dream house. Right, so it's yeah. sort of affordability criteria. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. One that we're actually going to be doing, mm -hmm. is, and this is sort of helping somebody get onto the property ladder, yeah. it's up actually helping a landlord uh, because he's got some properties where uh, they're going to disrepair yeah. and uh, he wants to um, offload them so we're going to take them on a lease option okay um, pay him 130 quid I think um, and there's five of them uh, five properties um, so per property we're gonna pay him check him out <laughs> five in one go love five in style. One go, yeah and we're going to give them all out on um, uh, rent to buy nice nice yeah. nice nice so I, I mean for anyone out there that's never heard of rent to buy yeah I mean if we just break it down to absolute simplistic terms most tenants hmm buy houses for landlords don't they? That's it. Yeah. That's, that's what they do. Yeah. This is a tenant that's happy to uh, pay a fair price yeah. in two years, five years, seven years time and they, they're they not like wasting the money in rent because I, I feel a lot of people that are tenants are effectively wasting money because yeah. the actual mortgage yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're landlords, that's yeah, how we yeah. make money. The yeah, mortgage is less it. than the rent, that's otherwise it. we'd be pretty strange landlords. So, I mean, if you were uh, uh, giving advice to everybody out there that's interested in this rent to buy scheme, yep. some of the numbers you've seen are kind of insane, uh, yeah, yeah. insanely yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. 
what, what would you say in terms of next steps? I, I would say that obviously you need to get educated, you need to do it properly because um, um, even with buy to let, um, uh, you know, you can make mistakes and if the paperwork's not right and you're not getting the right uh, person coming into your property, mm. it can become a disaster. Um, so definitely get educated and, um, uh, and start looking at, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see the opportunities. People are looking for, I haven't mentioned yet, somebody, there's a t tenant coming in now that wants to buy uh, a property but can't get a mortgage, but he's giving us the full deposit. Mm. to buy a property for him mm. um, and that's going to go on to rent to buy so there's so many people like that and there's so, so many opportunities so he's giving you like 10 percent up front he's given us uh 25 percent because we have to get it as a buy to let don't we he's so, you 25 so yes yeah, so 120 uh 120 uh purchase so he's given us 30 35 he's given us because the costs as well oh. yeah, so he's paid for that as well yeah yeah that doesn't sound too shabby. yeah 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 he's paid the um, all sort of three percent surcharge and everything wow uh, but fine, you're helping yeah. him out because he couldn't do it otherwise. He couldn't do it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Happy days. All right, so a few other things while I've got you in there. Yeah. Thanks once again for your time. You are a pharmacist, you used yeah. to be a pharmacist. Yeah, no, I'm still a pharmacist, um, okay. uh, but that's something I enjoy. Um, uh, it, um, you know, helping patients, um, uh, I, I saw differentiate helping um, people in the housing community and helping people with the medication yeah, I, yeah. I still enjoy it um, okay. I did come out of it and you know that I did yeah. sort of stop because my passive income sort of provides for that now but um, I jumped back in because I wanted to uh, rethink my uh, uh, retirement thing well see I said people say to me yeah, you've got all this passive income, you've got all this money, but what are you running around making videos because yeah, yeah. I love doing it yeah, is the yeah, answer it, exactly. and yeah. at the end of the day being a pharmacist or being a doctor is kind of vocational, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah definitely. And, and I always say this to people, uh, and India's heard me say this before, the time in your life when you'll find out what you actually want to do, really, is when you don't have to do anything. Yeah. That is when you find out what you really want to do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's fantastic that you've, yeah. you've, you've rediscovered your vocation. All right, normally, at this point, in the video like this, I would say, if people want to get hold of you, Indy, what should they do? But I'm, I've actually got an idea. <laughs> if you come over here, if someone was to phone that number, Indy, yeah. who would they get? They would get me. <laughs> so, there we go. So um, he's got an actual advert for himself outside. That's fantastic. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, from a touchstone video. Money matters, <laughs> I think it was in. It was in one of those. <laughs> yes, well, I, yes, money does matter. Yeah, it does. All of our mentors, all of our mentors have actually done touchstone training. Yeah. And we won't let anybody be a mentor in our mastermind program at Touchstone because we think it's too important unless we know them, yeah. unless we trust them, unless we can actually see they're both actually physical houses. So we want to make sure of all of that. Uh, so a few months ago now, we asked Indy if he would um, yeah. step forward and become one of our mentors. And he said yes. So um, just put some comments down below uh, in terms of what you think of Indy because I, th I think he's an amazing guy. And, I th and the feedback we get from his mentees is that they get huge value from it. Yeah, yeah. Good. So do you enjoy being a mentor? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think um, I, I put down on my sort of uh, the rent to buy. Um, yeah. I put rent to buy deal sourcing, getting your first deal, because um, that was sometimes the hardest thing for people, yeah, yeah. getting the first deal over the line. Yeah, um, so um, it's been really valuable. Uh, and just giving back, I think um, I've been helped along the way. I haven't got here all on my own. Um, I, I've been helped, I've been educated, I've been mentored, and uh, to be have the opportunity to give that back uh, to somebody else is so rewarding. On behalf of everybody watching, I want to say from this entire Money Matters community to you, and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Dudstone, um, and thank you the community. Um, I think uh, that's where, you know, the, the education is brilliant, but the community and the, the network, uh, that, that really is, I know you've said it loads of times, it becomes a bit of a cliche, doesn't it? But yeah, network um, uh, is your net worth, and I, I found that to be very, very true. Perfect. Thanks, Indy. See you soon. Take care now. Okay, so we've been out and about with Indy, you've seen his property, you've heard some rent-to-buy tenant. I'm gonna give you the figures now for one of the rent-to-buys that Indy talked about in Bradford, and this is a five-year rent-to-buy. So the purchase price on this one is 120,000 pounds, but because it's a buy-to-let, typically, you often need 25% deposit. So the cash that the guy's given up front is 30,000 pounds, but then you've got the legals, the stamp duty, the extra 3% that Indy talked about, you know, the surcharge, uh, mortgage application fees and everything else. Now, Indy's added all that together and that's a total of 7,000 pounds worth of costs. 
So the guy's actually given Indy 37,000 pounds. Now that's his money because when he buys the property, he'll get that back. And that's a huge amount of security for Indy that the guy's gonna be a good tenant, he's gonna pay his mortgage on time, you know, and all that stuff. Because if for any reason, the guy walked away from this rent to buy contract, that is Indy's, okay? So this is how strong security you've got here. So Indy is then getting the mortgage for 90,000 pounds. So Indy literally needs zero of his own cash to do this deal because the deposit and all the fees and everything else is coming from the rent to buy from the tenant. Indy is getting the mortgage. So the mortgage in this case is 3% interest only. So 90,000 pounds, 1% is 900 quid, so 3% is 2,700. 2,700 divided by 12 is your 225 per month. Now, because it's rent to buy, well, there's no maintenance. Um, there's no letting fees, because Indy's doing his own lettings. Uh, there's no insurance, because the tenant pays for that. Um, you know, so he's got no, we call it MO, monthly operating expenditure. So there's no costs other than his mortgage. So he's got 550 pounds per month of rent. Minus your 225 is 325, 325 per month times 12 for your annual profit is 3,900 pounds. So Indy is literally making 3,900 pounds a year with none of his own money and a huge amount of security. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the figures to finish this one off and then we'll go and do the other one. So the sale price, so Indy has bought it for 120,000 pounds. And what you heard Indy say in the video there was it's a 2% per year increase, which is very fair, I think. So if the guy was to buy it in year one, that'd be 122, 400. Year two, 125 virtually. Year three, 127. Year four, 129. Year five, 132. So many um, people that want to buy their own property, um, they'll buy it as quickly as they possibly can, but very often it goes to the full term. Um, so Indy could reasonably expect to make the £3,900 per year profit uh, for five years, which all bar £100, that's £4,000, isn't it? So £4,000 times five years is £20,000. So I think the actual figure is, well, you can do it at home, I'm sure. I think the actual figure would be 19500 And then he would make another £12,000 down here. So. That, I'm sure you'd agree, is genius. That is a fantastic way to make 30 odd thousand pounds while at the same time get someone on the housing ladder. You make money, tenants become homeowners, another rental property is freed up somewhere else in the chain, we're helping UK PLC win, win, win. Rent to buy. I'd just like to introduce you to Lee and Ashley. So you've got, uh, you've got three lovely babies. Yes. And you've got a fourth one on the way. Yes. <laughs> so what does it feel like to actually move into a house that you're going to own? It feels amazing. Yeah? Yeah. The process is fairly easy, right? Yeah, the drama really easy. The yeah. only stressful part was moving. <laughs> well, yeah. What's this little one called? Angelica. Angelica. <laughs> you're here, you're here for good now. And yes, yeah, Does it feel like a family home yet? Already? Yes. Just after like one night? Yes. Yeah. I think it's because we all muddled in, we all yeah. pitched in and we all did a bit of something, even the kids. Yeah. What's the last few years been like? Renting, rough. Renting, rough, yeah. yeah. You had to move a few times? Yeah, it's always been down to landlords selling houses from beneath you. I'm a landlord. <laughs> but well, you've given us an opportunity. But I love doing this. I, I love doing the, we call it rent to buy. Yeah. So it's rent it and then buy it later. Yeah. From your perspective, what, what was the advantage you've been able to do it like this? Well, obviously, we just look at it as though you're just paying rent now. So rather yeah. than you've got to save on top of you now. Yeah, so to speak. That, I think that was our issue, having I mean, put a bit of money aside, yeah. as well as paying the rent and the bills. Yeah. At least this way, it's all done in one move, yeah. and you don't miss it, because <laughs> it's not no. there. <laughs> We're okay. not very good savers, are we? <laughs> if we do save, it's like something breaks down, or the kids yeah. need, to, hey. need to pay for a school trip or whatever, so then you're dipping in and dipping in and dipping in. If there's somebody out there watching this, that fancies the idea of rent to buy, what advice would you give them? Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. as simple as that. Just do no it. No answer, is it? No deposits to pay out. No, no deposits. No, you know, no paperwork, really. No mortgage application now. No. So you've got years to get that sorted, haven't you? Yeah. Carmen Estates, here we go. Yeah. Carmen Estates, that's it. <laughs> so, and what, what kind of property is it, Brett and Chris? It's a semi-detached, three-bedroom. 
Very nice. When did you move in there? End of July last year. Wow, so you've been there for a good few months, so it's not exactly new anymore, but how, how does it feel to know that you're actually in the process of buying your own home? To be honest with you, the way we've got around it is kind of a relief because for someone as young as us, like we moved in here when I was 20. Yeah. Uh, and Chris was 24. Yeah. And any 20 year old is going to tell you saving money is just not an option. Yeah. So it forces you to save money yeah. because you have to pay your top up. Yeah. So you have to pay for the deposit thing. Mm -hmm. So for us, with having this house and when we got this house, it was just a massive weight off our shoulders because we didn't, we knew that we didn't want to be long term tenants. Um, but we also knew that saving money, yes, we could do it if we put our minds to it, yeah. but it would probably take us a lot longer to save for a deposit for a house rather than do this kind of way. Perfect. And I, I think huge respect to both of you. I mean, 20 and 24 and you know, you've got your own place. What are the downsides and what are the upsides? The biggest downside for me would be the fact that while we're in, before we actually get to the end of the tenancy term and actually get the money back to be able to buy it, we are still classed as tenants. Yeah. However, because it is a rent to buy scheme, anything that does go wrong with the property, it's it's us that are liable to to fix that or replace it. So like if your boiler goes, mm -hmm. if you're a tenant, it's it's your landlord that replaces your boiler. Yeah. However, with us doing this rent to buy, yeah. it, it, even though we are still tenants, we, it's down to us to to replace or fix it. Yeah. Plus, if we want to like change anything, we have to ask permission. So if we want to change like the colour of the windows, so yeah. like I was a brown now. Yeah. And I wanted them like dark grey, but then you have to he has to fit into the same colour scheme of the house or same theme of the house. Does it feel like a rented house, or does it feel like your own home? This does feel like our own house because yes, in terms of the big structural things, we still have to ask for permission. Yeah. We don't have to act like, like we've got three dogs. What place can you go to nowadays where you can have three dogs and your landlord can't say anything? Yeah. Um, we, we can paint, we don't have to ask to decorate the house. Mm -hmm. it, it's good in some ways, it is really good in some ways. We haven't got a landlord that we have to ask for to do the, the general decorating yeah. of things. It's yeah. just the big structural things that we have to ask for, really. But it makes me feel really good as a landlord to know that we're helping people onto the property ladder. Do you know you can get a 95% mortgage now? We knew about the 5% mortgage thing. Um, and to be honest, I didn't know if, I, I still don't know, you might be able to answer that question. Mm. Um, I don't know if that does apply to us being rent to buy, because I know yeah. in our contracts, we're in this house as tenants for seven years. And then we get that all that money back that we paid for top up, we get that all back. As far as I know, as long as you use the mortgage to buy your own home, which is what you would be doing, then you could get the 95% mortgage. It'd be then a question of talking to the office, talk to Diamond Estates, uh, and just many, many landlords will be will be fine with, with selling the property early. What would you say to any other tenants out there that are, are looking to get on the property ladder? Do you, do you think they should take a look at rent to buy? It's just so much easier, I think, for someone of our age. Because like I say, there's no saving of money behind it. Yes, you're saving money, but it just looks like it's your rent payment. Yeah. It's like you're just paying rent. So it's it's no different. But in the same time, at the same time, seven years down the line, we get we get deposit back to buy the house. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And and that's all protected in a completely separate client account. So the landlord can't yeah. spend it or anything like that. Your money is safe because it's in a completely separate client account. Um, no, but I just think it's because it's a new thing. A lot of people are a bit dubious for it. But yeah. I hope, I, I, like I say, I tell all my friends that if you're going to do it, do rent to buy. It's so much easier and it is better. Brilliant. Well, I want to say thank you once again on behalf of, well, everyone that's going to be watching this video. Good luck and see if you can get that 95% mortgage and get the house bought early. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? We will do. We'll, we'll definitely look into that now. But thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so the wonderful world of rent to buy. You've met a landlord, you've met Indy. Uh, you've seen video of me and Gordy with some, how excited were those rent to buy tenants moving in? That was the very first day. We just dropped off a little bottle of champagne that was, you know, pre-lockdown and all that sort of stuff. And then Brett and Chris, young men, 20 and 24, weren't they? They've bought their first property. 
they have in their own minds, they bought that first property. They know they've got a binding contract. You heard them. They've got legally binding contract. They can buy that property. They've got to rent it for seven years first. Now, they might, I hope, fingers crossed, they can come to an agreement with the landlord to buy it early. Since that phone call, I've actually checked out who owns it and it's a friend of mine called Jonathan, and I think there's a pretty good chance that he might be able to help them out there. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up now, as always. You'll be wonderful, I'll be in full. See you next time.